Okay, today I have the GUB Pro 3 phone holder. Uh, this is actually my second purchase. Um, this is one of the best uh, bicycle phone holders I've used. Uh, the reason being that the whole thing is made out of metal and it secures your phone very firmly and I've never actually had my phone fall out of this um, before. Which is again why I recommend it. Um, so I just bought another one from my other bike. Uh, the previous ones I've had, um, they weren't great. They were more of like plastic and with elastic bands and stuff. And uh, anytime if you have a big bump, the, my phone would just like pop right out. While with this one, um, I haven't had any issues. So I highly recommend uh, this this brand or at least this type of uh, a phone mount. They actually have this but with other brands different brand like under a different brand but uh you get the idea with uh with this one here so i'm just going to take it out of the box right now and give you guys an idea of what's inside and uh, how it mounts to your phone so here again gub phone holder um pro, pro 3 uh, this is thick case design bike and motorcycle mount Okay, so let's open it. Okay, so this is where you mount it to the bike handlebar. As you can see, um, it's all aluminum, it's all metal, right? It's all metal. Uh, the ones that you normally get with regular bike holders, they're, they're plastic or with a clip and they never, they never last or they'll just snap or break over time. But this is metal, so this is really good. Needs an Allen tool to, a, to uh, tighten it. And it comes with the rubber, rubber um, padding in between here, so you're not actually just putting metal against your um, handlebar. I'll show you the metal, I mean, I'll show you the plastic, uh, the rubber mounts in this bag here. Okay, so in this bag, let's see, it comes with... So I've got this plastic strip here. And here, this is what I was talking about. Um, so these are the different, like, depending on your handlebar, it comes with different sizes, right? So if your bar is a little thinner, then you could use this one. And if your bar is a little thicker, then you can use one. I think in here, does it say the actual size? No, it doesn't. But, uh, oh, maybe here. It says 22.2 here and uh, 25.4 here, if you can see. Okay, so I guess these are the two standard um, handlebar sizes. Okay, so it comes with two. And what you would do is you would, when you install it, so this also comes with the Allen key tool. So here, I just put it in, unscrew it. Like that. Then depending on which size fits your handlebar, right, just stick it in here. And it, it's got a groove actually, if you can see here. Got a, it's got a groove, so it just fits right in, right? Just like that. Put the screw back in. And that way you have a perfect, secure mount to your phone, uh, your mount to your uh, handlebar. Okay, so that's how this works. Now, um, let's go to this. This is the actual mount, right? So there's another version. Uh, maybe that's where it's not the, maybe that's the Pro 2, but for this Pro 3, instead of uh, just the two of the four teeth here that clamps, the four clamps that hold your phone, this one comes with like a little U, like a lower bracket that holds the phone, right, from sliding downwards. Uh, I just found this one a little bit safer, give, give myself a little more security here. Um, in case if these grips aren't strong enough, actually it has like, you know, another, another point of contact where it won't slide, right? So 
Yeah, this is why I chose this version and it's worked really well. Um, you can hear, it's all made out of metal, right? Everything is metal here. Basically how you put your phone is, you would just turn this. And again, let me show you. This thing, it says it goes um, from the smallest size is 55 centimeters millimeters and then up to uh, 100 millimeters, okay? So let me just show you. I'm not sure what happens if I go all the way. It might just, it might fall out. Okay, no, it, it, hold, it stays there. Okay, so that's the widest it can go, okay? Now to give you guys a reference, this is my old phone here. This is a uh, iPhone 6 Plus. So with the case, you can see, right? I still have got this much space left. This is about a good three centimeters, right? And what you would do is you would just turn this. You never always have to adjust it this much um, because generally you only have one phone, right? So it's always gonna be at the same size. So what you do is you just probably like turn it and loosen it up just a little bit, just enough so that it'll slide out, right, on your bike, and that's it. And then when you when you go back to your bike, you just right, oops, slide back in, and then turn it just a just a bit, and that way, you're done. It's in. You see that? Completely in. Okay, so it's not completely done right now because it actually still has a some rubber mounts that you can install to really tighten this which I'll show you guys uh, I have got this little like uh, uh, kickstand here on my phone so it doesn't work too well on this but the phone that I actually use doesn't have this completely flat and it works really well so okay so you guys have an idea of what this looks like um, so there's this so it comes with these rubber uh, grips. You see that? So these grips actually go on the teeth here, right? So you would just put, so then instead of just metal, like bare metal onto your phone, um, you put the rubber grips here. And that way, when you tighten it, it'll give, it'll, it'll just like squeeze your phone, it'll never fall out. Okay, so that's a nice touch here. And I believe what these are is you put these here just so it doesn't um, scratch your phone when you put it put it on here. Uh, actually, I haven't used this. I'm not quite sure exactly what this is. Um, if it's a sticker here, then I assume that maybe you can just put it here to uh, prevent your phone from scratching against this metal. Okay, so let me just show you uh, installing this thing here. So it comes with a screw, which is right here. And that basically goes here. And then see how there's a cross here and a cross here, right? So generally your handlebar would be this way, right? So you would go put the cross in here or what? Yeah, like that. Okay. And then you put the screw in. And then you just turn it. And again, this is a different size Allen screw than the bottom one here. It's smaller. So they were nice enough to give you a second smaller Allen key. Okay, so same thing. Put it in and tighten it. Uh, you could put some thread lock if you want. Um, I didn't, and uh, it's still been really secure for me. So I'm just going to tighten this. Okay, and that's it, right? So then you mount this onto your onto your uh, bike. And uh, you can adjust it this way, and then you tighten it, right? And then once that's on, you slide your phone over it. Again, I, I have this thing here. It doesn't fit very well. But I close it in. And then I tighten that. And there you go. See that? It's not going anywhere. It's like super tight. And I hadn't even put the uh, these rubber grips on yet. I put one on right now to show you how it works. But uh, it does help that my case is rubber. So the fact that I'm putting pressure on it 
with the rubber here, it acts as these rubbers. But some of you might not use a case with your phone, so in that case, in that instance, you would need to install these. So let me just show you quickly. So I'll just put one on. So you see how it's got an angle here? So you just match it with... So let me take one off. You'll just match it with the, uh, the teeth here. Okay, so take one out, right? You can see it clearly now. And you would just match it to the one that shaped the same way here. So I'm just gonna go right over it, you see? Boom. And there's, that's it, it's done. So now you can see it's got that rubber there, right? You do the same with the four and it's got the two in the bottom here as well. So it's got six points with the rubber. And once you tighten it, you're good. This thing is really good. Highly recommend it. Okay, so uh, that's it for this mount. Okay, so I'm just gonna install it to show you guys. So for my bike, it uh, looks like the the uh, the bigger one will fit on my handlebar. The bigger adapter, I mean. So what we do is you put this here. You can see it uh, kind of just wraps around it like this. Then you would, once that's on, then you would put the uh, the metal clamp over it. So let me do that and I'll Okay, so here it is, all installed. As you can see there's the plastic, plastic there. And then the clamp's on over it. You tighten that screw. And there you go, you can see, I, it's hard to tell, but it's very, very secure. It's not moving anywhere. And once you slide your phone in, tighten that all the way, then yeah. Then it's pretty much on. You can't, it's not going anywhere. Very, very secure. Again, highly recommend this phone mount. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.